Amnesia is characterized by memory loss, affecting the ability to store or recall information. The two primary types are retrograde and anterograde amnesia. Retrograde amnesia involves losing past memories, while anterograde amnesia impacts forming new memories. Both types may coexist, severely impairing memory. Retrograde amnesia affects recent memories more, leaving older ones intact. It's often caused by trauma, infections, or psychological stress. Anterograde amnesia results from damage to the hippocampus, responsible for processing memory. Conditions like encephalitis, stroke, or alcohol abuse can cause anterograde amnesia. Memory relies on the hippocampus, amygdala, and neocortex. The hippocampus forms new memories, the amygdala links emotions to memory, and the neocortex stores long-term memories. Transient global amnesia, or TGA, is a temporary condition where memory loss occurs suddenly, resolving within 24 hours. It's linked to stress, migraines, or minor strokes, but doesn't cause lasting harm. Functional, or dissociative amnesia, stems from psychological trauma, not brain damage. Individuals forget personal details, often due to stress, anxiety, or trauma. It's seen in PTSD cases, and memories may return over time. Childhood amnesia, also called infantile amnesia, refers to the inability to recall early childhood memories. This isn't a disorder but occurs because the brain's memory systems aren't fully developed before the age of three or four. Lacuna amnesia is the loss of memory of a specific event or period, often from localized brain injury. The person may function normally but lack memory of specific experiences. Psychogenic amnesia results from extreme emotional distress, not physical damage. It often involves gaps in memory, especially related to traumatic events, and can result in identity loss in severe cases. Amnesia can be caused by head injuries, infections, substance abuse, strokes, and degenerative brain diseases like Alzheimer's. In Alzheimer's, memory loss is progressive, affecting both short- and long-term memories. The disease leads to a gradual decline in cognitive function due to widespread neuron damage. Treating amnesia depends on the cause. Memories may return gradually, especially in trauma-related cases. Cognitive rehabilitation exercises aim to improve memory, and medications used for Alzheimer's can help slow memory decline, though there's no cure for amnesia. Research continues to deepen our understanding of memory and amnesia. Neuroimaging technologies, like functional MRI, help identify brain regions responsible for memory. Studies of neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to reorganize, offer insights into potential recovery mechanisms. Amnesia provides valuable insights into how memory works and how it's disrupted. If you learn something new about how psychology affects our daily lives, then consider subscribing to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss the next episode. Until next time, stay sharp.